Hey everyone, Pupsker here, and today in Warframe I want to talk about how you can get the Emerald Archon Shard, Topaz Archon Shard, the Violet Archon Shard, as well as how you can unlock Coalescent Fusion. You know, it's all kind of in the same vein of stuff. What you need to do is have the newest quest complete, Whispers in the Walls, because you need to unlock the newest area in Warframe, Whispers in the Walls sections, really. It is the Deimos, ah, Sanctum Anatomica. That's where essentially all of the new stuff is right now. So let's go over there, take a look at what you need, and then take a look at Coalescent Fusion. Okay, once you get down to the general Sanctum Anatomica, you can either fast travel to Bird 3, or just talk to your boy Bird 3 up here. This will require you to be rank 2 with the Kavya standing, so just run some bounties, level it up, the usual stuff with bounties. And then you go to Browse Wares, and this is where you purchase the Helminth Coalescent Segment Blueprint. It it requires you to farm this area up a little bit. You need to get some Echo Vokas, Stellas, Intradi Lanthorns, and Necrocoil, right? All needed ingredients in order to build the Helminth Coalescent segment. And then that is how you can unlock Shard Fusing uh, in Warframe. So step one, you just have to do the new Whispers content, talk to Bird, and then you unlock those new Archon Shards. So let's run back to the Helminth and take a look at that. And again, you just need rank 2 for that, and it takes not a lot of time to build, so once you get it, you're good to go, essentially. So let's take a look at how OP all those new Archon Shards are. So now that we're actually back at our helmet, my nummy nom noms, go back to Archon Shards, and you can see you still have the regular Crimson, Amber, and Azure Archon Shards, but in order to get the new shards, you can't farm them from one single area. Like, for example, Regular Archon Shards, you can fight the weekly Archons to farm them, and now you can farm Netracells weekly as well to farm them. But in order to get the three new Archon Shards, the only way is to fuse Archon Shards. So you fuse Azure with Yellow, you know, Azure with Amber will give you your Emerald Archon Shard. I'm terrible with color theory, so I'll probably mess this up half the time. The Emerald Archon Shard is insane. It is as follows. Toxic Statics effects deal 30% more damage. Okay. Okay, I'm liking that. Recover 2 health each time enemies are affected by a Toxin status effect. Okay, so green is pretty toxic. Gain 10% ability damage on enemies affected by Corrosive status. So, if you're what, using Hydroid, this shit is OP because of his new setup. Increase max stacks of corrosion status by two. So obviously the Emerald Archon Shard is really good for two things, corrosive status buffing and toxin status buffing, essentially. Buffs will be given for corrosion and buffs will be given for toxin, either healing, damage, or stacking, depending on what you choose, right? So the Emerald Archon Shard's pretty insane. You eat that shit on Saren, right? Like actually whoever you feel like throwing it on and you should do a ton of damage, so... Hey, think about that. Now we can swap out the Amber Archon, Archon Shard for the Crimson Archon Shard. Then you get the Azure and Crimson one out of, or Crimson and Azure, you get the Violet one. So this is electricity and melee and stuff. Let's see. Gain 10% ability damage on enemies affected by electricity status, right? Volt mains eating good tonight. Ah, beautiful. Gain 30% primary electricity damage and gain an additional 10% per Crimson, Azure, or Violet Shard equipped. Oh shit, so you could chain up all of these shards and just have an insane amount of primary electricity. Okay, okay. Gain 25% melee critical damage when max energy is over 500 the damage boost doubles. Okay, so 25% melee crit damage. If you have high energy pool and you're using Prime Flow, it'll double. That's actually not bad. And then finally, health pickups give 20% energy. Energy pickups give 20% health. That is a miniature equilibrium, I think, is how that works. So you might not even care about using equilibrium anymore. Maybe you'll just want to chuck on a violet Archon Shard. I don't, I mean, it makes sense on certain Warframes, like Citrine, oh my god, you'll never need more health and energy again, so it probably works like a replacement for that. So damage, 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 yeah, this is definitely a good damage one, with one non-damage utility, so not bad. 
Lastly, if you put the Crimson Archon Shard together with the Amber Archon Shard, oh, you get the Topaz Archon Shard. Gain one health per enemy killed with blast damage. Maximum 300 health, okay. Regenerate five shields when you inflict a status or an enemy with blast status. Oh, so you have a way to gain infinite like shield regen with uh, blasting and using the Topaz Archon Shard. That's actually pretty cool. Now this one's wild. Increase secondary crit chance by 1% every time you kill an enemy affected by heat damage. Maximum 50%. Ooh-wee, that's pretty damn good. And then lastly, gain 10% ability damage on enemies affected by radiation status. Hell yeah, that would be really good for stuff like Oberon and Corvex. So, radiation frames, nice. That crit damage one with heat, Protea, oh my god. That works really well with her because you kill everyone with heat and blast off your second one. The blast one's gonna be very weird, so you're gonna have to do a very niche or like blast specific build if you want to do that but i mean they're all pretty good and of course in order to fuse up you also can just fuse up the tau forged right because how else are you gonna get the tau forged version so once you actually yeet on a tau forged one they gain that 50 percent increase so 45 percent toxin damage three health per toxin status right 15% ability damage on enemies affected by corrosion three max corrosion stacks throw that on 37% melee crit and then doubling with more energy, 30% health energy pickups, my god. 45% primary electricity damage, gain 15% per Crimson Azure or Violet Archon Shard equipped, like, oh my god, oh my god, gain 50% ability damage. So, it turns out, these get pretty goddamn ridiculous. Pretty goddamn ridiculous, if I do say so myself. And then you got the final one. Killed by heat damage, 75% secondary crit chance increase. Like, that's bonkers. Ability damage, 15% on radiation. 7.5 shield per second, or per blast status. 2 health per enemy killed with maximum 450 health. I mean, these shards are pretty wild. The only issue is, you cannot properly farm up Tau for shards. There's not a reliable way to get shards other than Archon Hunts. Oh yeah, there's the Call mission, Break Narmer missions. Those kind of really suck and aren't the funnest though. And then we have Weekly Netra Cells, meaning we can get Two guaranteed, I believe, Archon Shards a week, Chance at Tau Forge through the regular mission. And then we have a chance at getting five Archon Shards through Netra Cells. And they could be Tau Forge. The drop rates are not the highest, but they could be a lot lower, right? So we have one, two, three. At least this timer goes up, so you have a chance at getting more, right? But that's how that goes. Let me know what you think of all the new Archon shards. They're kind of, kind of busted, busted, you know. So I'm not mad at them. There's a ton of murdering you can do, even better now. Build up your Sarens, build up your Corvexes, Embers, right? Like, I have an Ember here, her secondary, whew! Should just destroy everyone with all that heat damage. So, give it a shot, let me know what you think, and I hope that helped, because some people are asking about how to get the Archon Shards, how to do all the new stuff, so I'm slowly just getting all that done. Thank you, sub like, you can use Epic Games creator code Pupsker if you ever want to buy Fortnite skins or anything on the Epic Games store, and then I just have all the social medias, right? Facebook, Instagram, Twitch, Twitter, YouTube, there's so many! So, appreciate it. Cheers, cheers.